Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the owner of Houston Window Experts, and today I want to talk to you about the top 10 questions you should ask a window or door salesman when they come out to your house to try to sell you windows. So today we're filming from my office. I don't think I've ever shown you my office before. It's a beautiful room. My wife, uh, who has a background in interior design, helped design our showroom and my office. And I just love being here because it's kind of like a place that I feel at home at work. Do you ever feel at home at work or maybe you're actually working from home? <laughs> right now. And I thought, what if I bring you in here and you sit in that chair for just a minute and I want to talk to you because um, we get questions from people all over the country now that people have been watching our YouTube channel so much and they say, Jeff, uh, gosh, I wish you were in Boston. I'd hire you to do my window project. And Or Jeff, I wish you were in Denver. Or Jeff, do you know anybody in Los Angeles? And so we get these questions all the time and, and I got to thinking, yeah, it's true. In some cities we do know some great installers and window companies, we could probably refer you to them. But I thought, what if I armed you with questions that you would know to ask so you could properly vet a window company or a door company in your area and of course you could, if you're in Houston, you know, vet us by these same questions, vet people in Houston by these same questions. Cause these are the questions that I think sometimes we hear uh, from a lot of homeowners. And sometimes we should hear and we don't hear from a lot of homeowners because if you're like most homeowners, you've probably never bought windows before. You know, you've bought a car before, you've bought a lot of things. You've maybe even have bought several homes before, but if you've never bought windows before, you just don't know some of the questions to ask. So I thought I'd cover the top 10 questions you should ask a window or door salesman or salesperson. So um, before I get into that though, just kind of a maybe a red flag. When you call a company and you want someone to come out to your house to give you an estimate for windows, if they say to you something like, will both decision makers be present? Or if they say, you know, will your husband be home by then? I think that's kind of a terrible way to say it, but some people say it that way. I'd say that's a red flag. I wouldn't even set the appointment. You know what that means? That means prepare yourself for a high pressure, uh, closing tactics. I'm not leaving your house until you buy. I'm gonna be here till midnight and you kick me out. I mean, it's, it's just typical that they ask that question because most people like me, if I was talking to somebody about windows and I was gonna spend a lot of money, I'd, I'd say, well, let me talk to my wife about it. And what they want to do is eliminate that. We're like, well, she's sitting right there. Talk to your wife. So trust me, if that's if that comes up, that's a red flag, I'd stop there. But let's say you, you get all the way through the process. They come out to the home. Let's say they're punctual even, and they show up on time, and, uh, and they represent the company well. Here's some things you should ask. Uh, number 10, and by the way, these aren't like in specific order. I just wanted to count them down for you. Number 10 uh, would be, I want detailed pricing. Uh, Mr. Salesperson, before you leave today, I want detailed pricing. And what I mean by detailed is, don't let them just scratch it on a notepad. Don't let them put it on the back of their business card, 10 windows, $10,000 or whatever number they come up with. And, and even if it's just the spreadsheet, you know, eight windows, remove and install and put in new windows, whatever that is, that's it may be good, that's better. But like really what you truly want is you want a detailed quote that has like shows the what window brand, what model of that window brand you're getting, okay? Because different manufacturers make different models, different tiers. Uh, what kind of glass am I getting? Does it have low E? Does it have argon? What are the specs about this window? What are the U gain, uh, the, the U factor and the solar heat gain? These are the information pieces that you need to have because if you watch my other video about the NFRC labels, how people sometimes will switch a window, they'll show you a, a window and then what they sell you is different than that window. You wanna have something detailed in writing so that you can see exactly what you're getting and it should be line items, so you can see line by line, what does each window cost? How much does the labor cost? This should all be separated out where you understand exactly what you're getting. It's about being fair. It's about being transparent and being honest. Uh, number nine, tell me about your installers. Who are your installers? Do they actually work for you or are they subcontractors? Now, most every window company is gonna say to you, oh, they work for me, these are my employees. And so there's, a, there's really no good way for you to verify that that's the case. Um, but most window companies use subcontractors and you want to understand what's going on with that. And, and not that subcontractors are bad. I'm not saying that if you get a subcontractor, you're going to have a bad experience. What I'm saying is that the difference between a good company and a great company is a great company actually cares about controlling the process from start to finish. 
They want to control the installer's schedule. They want to know his background. They want to know um, his driving record. They want to know if he has criminal history. And sometimes subcontractors don't provide that information or a subcontractor may have good relationship with the window company, but the subcontractor, he has permission now to go to Home Depot and pick up a couple of guys standing around in a parking lot looking for work and say, come join me, let's put in some windows. So ask about the installer and also ask the questions like, what is the installer going to do? Is he gonna take off the, uh, the alarms for me? Is he gonna take the trash off or is he just gonna leave all of that for me to haul out to the curb? You wanna understand these things about the installer. Uh, and then number eight, how long is this gonna take? I mean, how long is it gonna take for you to be back out here with my windows to install them, A, but also B, once the guys are out here, if I've got 10 windows, is this, is this a one-day job, a two-day job, a three-day job? Some window companies keep very, very small crews, crews of just two guys. And if you had 30 windows to replace, they're going to be at your house all week. Whereas a company like ours, we put more people on the job if the job's bigger because we try to do it as much as possible. We try to do every project in one day, maybe two days if it's really, really big. Okay. So how long are they going to be here? Number seven. What materials are they using? Because if they say we're gonna use caulking, what kind of caulking? Is it OSI Quad Max? Is it the really good stuff? Or is we talking about this $1.99 a tube stuff? Are you gonna put foam around the window? Are you gonna insulate it with injection foam so that it has a real good connection between the window and the house? These are the things I wanna know. What materials are you using with this installation? Then tell me about measurements. Who's gonna measure the windows? Do you measure the windows? Do you have someone else who comes back later to measure the windows? And what are the credentials of the guy doing the measurements? Because it's very critical that if you're gonna have a very happy, successful window project, is that the guy who's doing the measuring is really good at measuring. Because if, if the window itself is downsized by a quarter inch or a half of an inch or something, just to make it easier for the installer, then you're gonna get a sloppier project. You're gonna get less glass, you're gonna get more frame, you're gonna have gaps between your house and the window, and it's not going to perform to the excellent standard that you would expect from a great window company. And here's why I say that, because back to the question about subs, right? Think about this. If the subcontractor is the one, or even the, the installer, if he's the one who's going to be doing the measuring, he knows this is my job. I'm going to be back here in a few weeks to do this work. How, and that's good, right? Because he gets an, a, an eye for what he's looking at and what he's going to have to do. But it can also be bad because he's thinking to himself, if I undersize this window by a half inch on each side, Customer's never gonna notice, and I can move through this a lot faster. And he's a sub, he's getting paid by the window. If he's an employee, he's getting paid by the hour. That's the difference. And so that's why that's an important question to ask. Who takes these measurements? And do they measure to the, is it the quarter inch? Is it the half inch measurement? Or is it 16th inch increments? Because you really want it done and done right. Uh, number five, insurance. Do you have insurance? What kind of insurance? Show me your insurance. Do they have workman's comp insurance? If, if the installer is on a, on a ladder on a two-story house and he falls off and he gets hurt, is that are you covered for that guy? Or is he going to get a lawyer and he's gonna sue you and me both and now we're both in a lawsuit because you didn't have insurance on your workers? What about insurance in case the, the windows leak and my whole house is, uh, my floors are all ruined or my sheetrock's all ruined? What about your insurance? Because if say they have really good insurance and that company even goes out of business, you can still file a claim against that company with their, with their insurance company. And the insurance company is there to protect you. So if they don't have insurance or they have insurance but it's not adequate or they have insurance but they can't prove it to you, which is very easy by the way, we keep an insurance, a copy of our insurance sheet with our agent's name and phone number on it, you can call and ask, is this insurance in force? Are these accurate numbers? You can verify our credentials. You wanna be able to verify the insurance of the person who's installing the windows. Um, number four, so you're gonna do the windows. What do I need to do? I mean, besides write a check, right? <laughs> what do I need to do? Do I need to take down these blinds and put them back? Do I need to take down these curtains and put them back? Am I gonna have to move all this furniture? Am I gonna have to roll up the rugs? Am I gonna have to clean up a big mess when you're done? These are the questions you should ask the window salesperson. Who's gonna do what? Make sure that's very clear what they do and what you do. In our case, we do everything. I mean, the heavy lifting you're gonna do is, well, I shouldn't say heavy lifting, that sounds expensive. But I was gonna say heavy lifting you're gonna do is write a check, right? Well, you write the check, I'll do everything else. Now, there are some exceptions, like we don't move grand pianos, right? Because that's really difficult and should have a professional for that. 
We don't move a china cabinet full of uh, breakables, right, from your collection when you travel to India, stuff like that. We ask you to unload those things the night before. And, and we certainly don't move grandma's ashes off the, the fireplace mantle. I mean, let's be reasonable, but as far as like moving the furniture and covering stuff up and putting things back and removing the drapes and removing the blinds and putting all of that back at the end of the day, that's on us. And that's a good question you should ask about that. Uh, number three, what's the warranty? Not just the warranty on the window, but what's the warranty on your labor? Because remember, there's two key components to a successful window project. One is finding a great window that you love and it meets your budget, meets your, uh, you know, the, the look you're trying to achieve. And number two is finding a great installer. I've said this a thousand times, uh, a great window with a bad installer is a bad window. So what about the labor on your, on your end? If you, Mr. Salesperson, are telling me your guys are great and they're great installers, how do you back that up? Is it in writing? How long is it good for? How long can I expect to be able to call you if I have a problem with my window or my window installation? And, and part B to that question, I guess, is to say, what happens if my window breaks? Are you guys gonna come out and replace it? Oh yes, you have a warranty for that, okay. How long does that take? What if it happened at three in the morning on New Year's Eve because somebody got really crazy and smashed out a window? Are you gonna call me two days later when you get back to the office or are you accessible 24 hours a day, 365 days a year? With us, with Houston Window Experts, we actually have on-call staff. We have six people on call every day of the year, 24 hours a day for our clients. If you're one of our clients and you have an emergency need at three in the morning on Christmas Day, we're gonna dispatch somebody to your house right away to get that boarded up, to get it covered up, to get you safe, secure, and dried back in. That's a good question to ask. That's the difference between good companies and great companies. It's not just the service now, but the service after the sale. Um, number two, give me your references in writing with phone numbers, email addresses. And of course, some people say, oh, references are always gonna be good. Yeah, they're always gonna be good, but you're not asking, was this company good? You're asking detailed questions like, did they have, were they clean when they did the work? Did they show up on time? Did they promise you six weeks, but then it took eight weeks for them to come back out? These are the kind of questions you're gonna ask from references. And then what I really love too is when people ask me, because I'm proud of it, they say, so do you have any jobs you've done in my area? Can I get some addresses to drive by? So I ask for drive-by addresses, because not just references, but drive-by addresses where you can drive by and say, that really looks sharp, that really looks good, or uh, I don't really like how that window looks in that house. So that's really important to get a good visual. Most of us, I am, I'm a very visual person. I, I'd like to see it before I invest my money in it. And so that's a good question to ask. And then the number one question, but it's not really the number one, but it's the only one left, is if you're not buying windows right there on the spot from them, is do you have a showroom? I'd love to come by and take a look at other brands. And I wanna compare what you just showed me to something else. I like to walk through your showroom. I'd like to just kind of see what all's there. And the reason I ask you to do this, little secret, shh, is because a lot of window companies, you can't tell by looking at their website. Who are they? What are they made of? If I had a problem, can I find these guys? Or are they working out of their garage? Are they working out of their cars? Nothing wrong with that. I started working out of my garage. I started working out of my car. But, but where are they in the process? If they say we've been in business for 20 years and they don't have a place that they call an office or a warehouse or a showroom where you can drop in and see and take a look at who they are and what they do and how they do things, causing to question all the other things that they said that they, uh, that they can do. So I hope this has been helpful. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment. Maybe I missed a question, something you've learned to ask. I'd love to share it with the rest of our viewers. If you are in the Houston area and you're interested in us coming out to your home or just chat over the phone or dropping into our showroom to discuss windows and doors for your home, your project, I'd sure love to meet you. We'd love to hear from you. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.